with events like this that continue to educate service members on some of their rights and uh, some of the options out there, um, at the very least, all service members will know the, the relief that's owed to them because of their service. Now, you know, once a guardsman's mobilized, you know, they make it through to the end of orders, come off of deployment, and go back home. It's a wonderful experience. You get to see your family, and you get to slip right back into your normal life. But as somebody who's done this myself, I know it's not always that easy. It can be very difficult to come home and try to reacclimate yourself, reintegrate yourself into your family, go back to work. There's a lot of things that, that come into play when you come home from deployment, not just during the deployment. And often, when a guardsman returns, you have to begin to recover from the financial hardship that was placed on your family. You know, the, the, financial, the financial situation that you had when you were originally deployed is not the same. It's changed. So now you have to address that. And you have to do all this while you're trying to, once again, reacclimate yourself to civilian life. So what's a guardsman to do? Well, that's why I'm here. I'm here to tell you how credit unions can help with this process. Now, of course, credit unions can't solve all these problems. But credit unions can help you through the process with the financial dynamic that exists. You see, credit unions will work with you. They'll sit down with you and talk to you. It's in their interest to help their members through difficult times. You can't say that about all financial institutions. For many financial institutions, their primary interest is to make money for their shareholders. But that's not the case for credit unions. When you're a credit union member, they may not be able to give you what you want all the time, but they're going to work with you to ensure that they can at some point. This commitment to helping credit union members is in the DNA of credit unions. They understand and they're understanding, because at a credit union, you're more than just an account number. So you need to ask yourself, what is the financial institution that I bank with going to be able to do to help me through some of these issues? Well, credit unions can and are willing to do a lot. Credit unions are dedicated to their members. They understand that people face difficult situations. This is the credit union advantage. The credit union advantage is made up of a number of components, not the least of which is their structure, their management, and their nonprofit status. I'm sure there's things I'm going to tell you about credit unions that you had no idea about. And I'm pretty sure about this because although I've been a credit union member since I was six years old, until just a few years ago, I did not understand all the benefits of credit unions. When my mother, an NCO, an AIT instructor at the time, took me to open up my first account, she said, the credit union is where you go. Because at credit unions, you have less fees to deal with, better services, better rates on savings and on loans. Now, I was only six years old at the time, so that didn't mean anything to me. And for a long period of time after that, I still didn't understand, appreciate, or value the benefits of credit union membership. But I was still getting all the benefits from my credit union account. You see, at a credit union, they treat all their members with respect and offer products and services based on the needs of their members not based on profits for shareholders. So what are the benefits to credit unions? First, it starts with their structure and their cooperative nature. This means that account holders at credit unions are not customers, they're member owners. As member owners, credit union members have a voice in the direction and management of the credit union. Each member has a vote to decide the board of directors. And the board of directors at credit unions are not paid. So profits don't motivate their decisions. The decisions they make are motivated by the best interests of the credit union's members. Because the ultimate goal of a credit union is to be able to offer all its members a vast array of quality financial products. These products range from checking accounts, savings accounts, CDs, credit cards, mortgages, all manner of financial products. Credit unions provide the same financial services as any other financial institution. So why should you choose a credit union? Well, you should choose a credit union because credit union will serve your interests in a way no other financial institution can because credit unions are nonprofit. 